So Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Garcelle and Sutton are responding to Carlos King's claims that their friendship is not real. It's actually alliance. This is coming after his claims that he believes that Kenya and Candy's friendship is just an alliance. It's not a real friendship. And sidebar, we have to talk about the recent lawsuit because you know they won't talk about it on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills that Dorit Kemsley is facing. Welcome back to the Kempire Channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So before we give Carlos the attention that he continuously is seeking, let's talk about Dorit Kemsley. So you know the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills season, their new season is done, it's wrapped, it's in the bag, it should be coming to us later this year. Well, you also know that Dorit and her husband have faced tax issues, they face lawsuits, and it never comes up on the show. Well, I have a feeling this will not be coming up because this is coming out after the show. How convenient for her. Dorit Kemsley's facing a lawsuit. So let's talk about this lawsuit. So shout out to our friends over at Yahoo Entertainment who wrote this article. The article is by Allison. She writes this, I'm feeling a sense of nostalgia as I write this article. It's been a long time since we've had a trip down memory lane. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Dorit Kemsley must also feel sentimental because she's revisiting her second home. Back in 2019, Dorit and PK Kemsley were in a world of financial difficulties. PK owed a ton of money to the Bellagio and Dorit was being sued by her partner at Beverly Beach. You think after escaping financial ruin and two home invasions, one might learn a lesson. Nope. We're back in a legal situation with Dorit because home is where the heart is. And for Dorit, home is court. So Radar Online is the one originally reporting this story. So let's go there. So Radar writes this, according to court documents obtained by them, earlier this year, Dorit was sued by a woman. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Earlier this year. So this better be brought up during the season. Earlier this year, Dorit was sued by a woman named Natalie Vanderstay. The, not Vanderstay. Oh, Lisa. The suit demanded that the Bravo star pay $8,600 in damages. Natalie said, I am a private duty nurse and I provided medical services for Dorit. Dorit had plastic surgery and hired my services for day and overnight care. Part of me thinks, does this break HIPAA in any way? Well, it's a lawsuit. Anyways, so according to them that she had plastic surgery and hired my services for, for a day and overnight care to monitor and assess her pain, administration of medications and treatments as directed per her, her physician's orders, as well as address her medical needs and concerns. The nurse said, I submitted an invoice to Dorit after my services were completed and Dorit has refused to pay me. Natalie, who claimed, who claimed to have worked for Dorit from November 16, 2022 to November 20th of 2022, said she calculated the money owed to her by the hours I worked at my hourly rate of 100. I worked 86 hours at $100 an hour, which totals $8,600. Now plus interest. Sidebar, were they filming in November? I don't recall. I don't think so, though. Because they just wrapped filming, so I don't think they were filming then. So she was getting ready for the new season. In April, a hearing was held where Natalie appeared, but Dorit was not present. The nurse said the reality star was served with legal papers despite her non-appearance. After, after the hearing, the judge ordered Dorit to pay Natalie a total of $8,675. Now the nurse has demanded Dorit appear in court with her financial records to help her figure out how to collect on the debt. Radar previously reported that Dorit's husband, PK, has a long history of legal trouble. As they first reported last year, PK finally settled a years-old debt with the Las Vegas casino, Bellagio. In the court documents, the Sin City Hotel told the court that PK paid up $2.27 he owed. Wow. Who knew he had it? Doesn't he owe how much in millions of back taxes, allegedly? The gambling debt has been chasing PK for years. 
Maybe he borrowed it from a boy George. Dorit's husband has been working to pay off a 3.6 million casino marker for nearly a decade. Oh, well, it took him a long time to pay it off. But here's the thing. A judge ordered Dorit to pay this amount. Why hasn't she paid this amount? We better not see you in designer come this new season, Dorit. And y'all better talk about this on the new season. What plastic surgery did she get, I wonder? Anyways... Dorit, pay your bills. You've been ordered by the court. What's going to happen? Are they going to garnish our wages? Anyways, let's move on. So, you know, on our Tuesday takeover, we talked about the Carlos King review that he did on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Sidebar, the ratings have come out for Real Housewives of Atlanta. They're down as opposed to what they were up last week. They were down to like almost 800 live viewers. Again, we, we're, we're not discounting streaming, and things like that. Not bad, not great for the Real Housewives of Atlanta. But you know we talked about Carlos alluding, not alluding, he basically said that he doesn't believe that Candy and Kenya's friendship is real. He believes it's an alliance. Does she need to choose you over Marlo? Just because y'all vacation together in Jamaica doesn't mean that there's an alliance. Now it's making me think you like alliances because, and I'm gonna say, y'all can y'all gonna read me for this. I don't believe in the Kenya and Candy friendship. I think that's an alliance. It's not genuine to me, based on how Candy treated Kenya when she got on the show. Because Candy was indeed loyal to Phaedra. Read me if you want to. I don't buy it. I base things off of facts. If y'all believe Kenya and Candy's friendship is genuine, then believe that. <coughs> <laughs> child believe anything in the world what he also said that we didn't talk about yesterday was that if those of you that believe that candy and kenya are a real friendship probably also believe that garcelle bouvet and sutton strack on the real housewives of beverly hills are besties he says in real life sutton would never be friends with someone like garcelle if y'all think for one second that the candy and kenya friendship is real Y'all the same ones who think Garcelle and Sutton are besties. Let's talk about it. Y'all know good and dang on well, Sutton will never in real life befriend Garcelle. It's all about the alliance. Well, here's the thing. Let's be honest. We never thought that this friendship between Garcelle and Sutton would ever be a thing. But to pleasant to our surprise, they really, you saw how their friendship developed and it really became this really beautiful genuine thing that wasn't just for for the show and sometimes being on these reality shows is an amazing thing you have real friendships that that happen it's very rare but we believe it we don't know it however in response to what carlos said garcelle retweeted and said this this couldn't be more wrong but i don't have to prove anything and she at sutton strack I also was in the comments section, but anyways, we'll go to what, what Sutton had to say. Sutton says, if they don't know by now, shaking my head, can't make this friendship up. Best thing that's happened to me in a decade. First of all, for her, to, she didn't even have to add all of that. But for her to, to say best thing that happened to me in a decade says to me that what we all feel in regards to what we see of this friendship on and off camera is real. And look, Carlos, we know that you're too busy worried about Bravo, but go take a look at those Love and Marriage Huntsville ratings. Oh. It's me. Hi. I'm the problem. It's me. And I said this yesterday during our Tuesday takeover. And look, this is no shade to you, Carlos, but here's the thing. You can't talk about other shows when you are a reality TV producer producing content now and your shows are not even close to what these shows are doing. You have a right to your opinion. You do. However, when you sit here and talk about facts... Let's talk about the facts of those numbers. But do I believe that these are alliances between Candy and Kenya? No. I think in the beginning, they did not see it for each other. But naturally, after working with people for a very long time, you get to know people on a real level. I believe they didn't see it for each other before, but now they actually are real friends. I, I wait for them to respond to this, even though I told them not to. I said, no, don't respond to this man because he loves it when we talk about him. 
But when I see people on other shows talking about it, I said, okay, we got to talk about this. We have to talk about this. Especially when we had two Real Housewives of Beverly Hills related stories. So to see Garcelle say, like, I don't want to even justi justify this with, with an answer, but y'all know what it is. And then Sutton double down, doubling down and saying it's the best thing that's happened in her life in the decade. That's big. That's real. And I felt that. When I read that, I was like, okay, Sutton. And I feel like Sutton is a good friend. I feel like Sutton is a loyal friend. And it's not just based off of money. It's not just based off of color. I be, and look, we've, we've talked about Sutton and some of the things she said over the years, but it doesn't mean that someone can't learn and grow. And maybe part of learning and growing is having friendships with people like Garcelle. That's why it's important to have friendships with people that don't look or sound or believe the things that you believe because it can open your mind and maybe you can open their minds. Maybe it's time Carlos gets some friends that can open up his mind or at least help his show do a little bit better. Guys, as always, I want to know your thoughts on the Dorit lawsuit and Carlos and his continuation of talking about shows that are doing better than his. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.